It's looping time! If you click this video, then you probably have heard of Microsoft's new collaboration software called Loop before. With Microsoft Loop, you can create a bunch of workspaces for you and your colleagues where you can use a bunch of handy components. And these components can help you plan and work on different tasks. These components are incredibly nice because you can actually paste these components in a bunch of different Microsoft apps like Teams, Word, Whiteboard, and even Outlook. And once you paste them there, they work just like how they do in Loop itself. It's like magic. And what's even more magical is that these components will be updated live no matter where you've shared them. Now that's pretty cool, right? In this video, I'm going to tell you all about Microsoft Loop, its components, and how you can use them in the best way possible. Let's go! Let's use this checklist here as an example. We really want our colleagues to start adding stuff to this checklist. We can have them do this by sending a link to the entire Loop page to the colleagues in question, but then they'll have to click that link in order to access the checklist which is an extra step, even though with loop components, that's no longer necessary. In order to turn this component into a loop component, select the entire checklist, including the title if you got one. Then click on the dots next to your selection and click Create Loop Component. As you can see, a colored line will now appear around your checklist, indicating that it's now a loop component. From here, sharing it is incredibly easy. If you hover your mouse over the loop component, three new options appear for you to click on. The first option shows you where the component has been shared. Currently, that's nowhere. Next to that, we got a button that allows you to copy the loop component. You also have a few settings you can change pertaining to who can view the loop component and who can edit it. Make sure you set these settings according to your preferences. And then next to that button, we can see who's got access to this loop component. Currently, it's no one. Let's now share it. You can paste the link you copied inside of a whole bunch of different Microsoft 365 applications that support Loop, like Microsoft Teams. When I paste this link into the chat right here, the link will turn into the exact same Loop component that we have just seen inside of Microsoft Loop. It's like magic. Once you send it, the checklist will now appear inside of the chat and your colleague's profile picture will show up at the top of the Loop component. And as long as you got your sharing settings from before set up the correct way, they will now be able to add their own stuff to the list just like that. And they can even add reactions and check off items as well. Now, if we go back to Microsoft Loop itself, we can see that the component updates instantly with the changes your colleague is making. So everything is always in sync, no matter where you share this component. And you can share it as much as you like. You can send it to other team members, send it via email through Outlook or add it to a calendar event, paste it onto a whiteboard and you can even add it to a Word document. We can now go back to Microsoft Loop and we can now see that some new stuff has been added to the previously empty menus. In the shared locations menu we can now see that it's been shared in Teams with my colleague. Pretty cool. And when we go to the see who has access menu we can see that we got my colleague listed here as well. As you can tell, loop components are pretty powerful, and you can do this with more than just a checklist. There are many different components that you can use and turn into a loop component so you can share it around. Like this handy tasks list for example. You can add tasks here for your colleagues and when you do, they'll get a notification and the task will be added to their assigned to you list in to do. Pretty cool right? And like with every component, you can turn this into a loop component and share it with others so they can add to the tasks list as well. Go and explore for yourself, it's really fun. Now, imagine you have an entire page full of components that you want to share as a loop component all at once. Well, you can do that too. Simply go to the top of the page and click next to the share button on copy as loop component. Go ahead and copy the link and paste it wherever you want to share it. As you can tell, the whole page has now been shared with all the components on it. And your colleagues will be able to easily make changes, add more components, add reactions like this boost, and collaborate together with you straight from the place where you've shared it. And of course, everything happens live as your colleagues are typing away. It's just fun to watch in and of itself. 
And there you go. That's how you really amp up the collaboration within your organization. That is, if you don't get distracted by your colleagues typing stuff into your components live. Uh, it is, um, it, it, it is pretty addicting to look at, actually. If you found this video helpful, then please give it a like. Or if you want to say something about it, don't forget to leave a comment. We always read them all. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to the Workplace Buddy YouTube channel for more tips and tricks like these. And hey, while you're at it, check out our website as well, where you can learn more about our learnings and AI-enhanced chatbot platform to help the organization you work for grow digitally and make the most out of Microsoft 365. And that's it for me. I'm still Mitch from Workplace Buddy, and I wish you an opacatastic day.